there is a new study that has come out around AI that specifically highlighted the fact that Alexa, Siri, and Google's Assistant are all vulnerable to malicious attacks. This is kind of interesting as we're starting to see AI be integrated more and more into these voice assistants. And so today on the podcast, I'm going to be breaking down what exactly was outlined in the study, why this might be an issue, and what you should know about it. So the first thing to know is that this is a new research paper that was actually done by AWS. So obviously a very reputable source in this entire space, AWS, Amazon Web Servers is a massive multi-billion dollar machine. And they're doing this study specifically probably for Amazon's Alexa. So I'm assuming it's commissioned there, but the what their findings apply to other voice assistants. And I think that they want to kind of lump all voice assistants together so that it's not like, hey, we did this study about our company and found out that like we're susceptible to malicious attacks. They're like, yeah, and so is like Siri and you know Google Voice and everyone else. So we're all we're all in this together. Let's figure the problem out instead of like, look, we have a problem. So I think that was great optics on their on their point, kind of tying this all together. But in any case, this was all done by Amazon Web Service, and this is what they said. The study it's called SpeechGuard, exploring the adversarial robustness of multimodal large language models. So. Really, they're kind of highlighting the susceptibilities of speech AI models to audio attacks that can, what they what they say is that it can provoke harmful responses. So the researchers discovered that despite trying to put a bunch of different safety measures into, into place, speech language models are highly susceptible to what they are calling adversarial attacks, which really what this means is it involves really subtle audio tweaks that mislead the AI, but they're also undetectable to humans. So this is absolutely fascinating. You know, it kind of reminds me of, I believe there was like a Super Bowl commercial that's like in it, it said like, hey Siri, or, or like, hey Google, or something like that. And like, there's like, you know, thousands of people around the country that reported their having their phone like chirp up and like be like, hello, how can I help you or whatever? So like, that's one funny way that people have done it is like in commercials, they'll say like, hey, Alexa, like go search for new Dorito, the new Doritos flavor chips on Amazon. And then like, it says it in the commercial, but your phone hears and actually does it. So, you know, that's, I think, kind of along the same lines of what they're, what they're saying here. So, but this is a little bit more malicious and a, a little bit different. What they said, though, is in this study, it found that a disturbingly high success rate for these attacks, up to, I think, 90% effectiveness in prompting or getting these speech models to essentially issue harmful outputs, including instructions on how to commit crimes, which is, I don't know, it's kind of funny. It's like unprompted. I'm sure there's like all sorts of malicious ways you can use this, but to me, it's kind of funny because like if I had a commercial or like had some sort of imperceptible audio that was like essentially saying like hey Siri where do I bury a dead body and then all of a sudden Siri's like the closest landfill is around the corner and down the street you could bury a dead body there like if that just like popped up on my phone I don't know I'd like it'd be dumb it'd be stupid but I like I don't think it's like harmful or like anything bad so I think there's other worse use cases but this one you know obviously kind of funny so there's a bunch of different techniques for this they have projected gradient descent. That's one of the techniques and it was employed to essentially create adversarial examples. It did this and they were essentially led to some to what they call toxic outputs across a bunch of different categories. Um, it said that like pretty much what they could do is get it to, to generate vi like violence and hate speech and that kind of stuff. The researchers found that adversarial audio attacks are transferable across different models and systems. So this isn't just like an Amazon problem or an Apple problem. This is pretty much everything else. They say that they pose real world threats to the use of speech AI in business and other settings, which, okay, this is, that's actually a great point. You know, I'm, I'm sitting here being like, look, I'm sitting at my desk and all of a sudden my like Siri chirps up and starts telling me how to bury a dead body. I'd be like, okay, that's stupid, whatever. And maybe they like, I don't know. It's, it's so fascinating to think of like how this could work. Like, so imagine I buy a really cheap light bulb from some country that manufactures cheap stuff. And in it, there's a microscopic like speaker that's able to like make these like sounds and frequencies that I can't hear, but like that my phone can hear. And it, it, it like tells it to do something. It, what would be crazy if it was like, hey, go to Amazon and order this product. And then like that, it was like the company had some sort of like financial 
thing in it. It was actually going and ordering the product. But they have a great point, which is in a business setting, you're in a business meeting and all of a sudden everyone's phones all at the same time start saying, the best way to commit tax fraud is to blah, 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 blah. And you're like, what the heck is like going on? Or it starts like, you know, saying something like, offensive or cussing you out or whatever, right? Like whatever they figure out how to maliciously hack and get it to do, that obviously could be a big issue that you really would want to avoid, especially in public settings, business settings, all that kind of stuff. So I'll give it to them. That is pretty, that's pretty important to avoid. They have a bunch of proposed countermeasures, which include randomized smoothing. This essentially randomized smoothing is Essentially, it involves adding a random noise to audio inputs to decrease the success rate of attacks. They're doing this, and while it's not like a definitive solution, I think it's a good first step. It's a good, I mean, they actually found something that works against this, so I think this is interesting. They said, quote, defending against adversarial attacks is an ongoing arms race. That was the lead author, Raghuveer Perry. But he was really just kind of emphasizing the need for continuous improvement in security measures as AI capabilities evolve. I think all of this is so fascinating and there's a lot that we're going to need to focus on as it comes to security, especially in the new age of AI. So if you enjoyed the episode today, if you learned anything new, it would mean the world to me if you could leave a review, like the video on YouTube if you're watching it there, or drop a review on Apple Apple Podcasts or Spotify Podcasts. Hope that you have an amazing rest of your day. I'll catch you next time.